Good morning, class. Okay, one, two, eyes on me. I have Sarah sitting up tall. Elijah's facing forward. I have 100% of scholars with cameras on facing forward, ready to begin, so let's go. Today we are going to learn about fluency. And you might be asking, what is fluency? So let's review. We read with, repeat after me, fluency smooth and graceful. Your turn. Yes, 100%. We read with accuracy, the right words. You got it. And lastly, we read with expression, feeling and emotion. Yes, very good. We are ready. So first, Miss Montoya is going to practice reading with fluency. Listen and follow along as I read this reading passage that you are about to read. Kit was a kangaroo, kangaroos hop. Kit hopped as well as the best kangaroos, but one day she stopped hopping. She said, I cannot hop. She was very sad. A little rat was sitting next to Kit. He said, I can help you hop. Kit asked, how can you do that? The rat said, let me show you. I will be back soon. And when I get back, you will hop as well as you ever hopped before. Okay, so that was Miss Montoya reading with fluency. Now I am going to read like a robot. And I want you to think about which way is better to understand what you've read. So listen up. I'm going to read like a robot now. Kit was a kangaroo. Kangaroos hop. Kit hopped as well as the best kangaroos, but one day she stopped hopping. She said, I can not hop. She was very sad. Okay, so raise your hand if you'd like to share. Which way was easier to understand? The first way where I was reading with fluency or the second way where I was reading like a robot? Let's go to Elisha. What do you think? Okay. okay, Elisha says the first way where I was reading more with more fluency. Give me a thumbs up class if you agree. Right, I see 100% of thumbs up. That is correct because when you're reading like a robot, it's very hard to understand what you're reading. So we want to read with fluency so we understand what we are reading about. Okay, now class, it is your turn to practice reading this reading passage with fluency. I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see the reading passage yourself. When I say go, just in a quiet voice out loud, read what you see with fluency. Ready, go. So at this point, I would listen to the class read the passage to my, I would listen um, and just monitor that all students are participating, making sure that all their cameras are on. And then when it looks like they've, they've come to a stopping point, I would continue. Okay, great job reading all together and participating reading with fluency. Um, and great job to Jaden. I heard you loud and clear participating and reading the words that you saw. Okay, now class, I'm gonna to listen to you read one at a time. So while I'm going to each student listening to students practice their fluency, I want you to stay logged in, but keep your camera turned off and you can work on the independent work that I sent you for this reading passage. And you are going to answer the questions about the reading passage for your independent work. Okay, ready and be ready to be called on. Ready, go. So at this point, I would give students the opportunity to work on independent work and I would go call on students and listen to them read to me one-on-one -on -one with fluency. I would definitely make sure to call on students that are not proficient in reading fluency and give them the opportunity to read to me. So for example, I would go to Jaden and say, Jaden, turn your camera on, make sure it's turned on and let's begin reading. And then I would listen to Jaden reading to me. Okay. And I, I would give him feedback. I would listen to his fluency, being able to read smooth. Also listen to how many words per minute um, the student is reading. Okay, and assess that and then give them immediate feedback. Okay, great job, Jaden. You read with smooth fluency and you read 80 words per minute. Great job. And if the students 
are not doing well are not meeting the criteria of words per minute, for example, I would make sure to let them know to practice for homework. Okay, so I will continue as if I've listened to all the students read. Okay. One, two, eyes on me. Jaden is turning his camera back on. Sarah is with me. 100% of scholars have cameras on and are ready to begin. Okay, great job, class. I listened to all of you read. Excellent job practicing reading the reading passage with fluency. Now, if, um, if if you need to practice the fluency passage for homework, be sure to practice. Practice at home. See if mom or dad will listen to you read your reading passage, and then I will listen to you again tomorrow, and we will continue to work on our reading fluency. Okay? And I will also check, and at this point, I would let them know what to work on. Okay? And what I would check is how they would also did on their reading comprehension. So I would make sure that they turned it into me so that I can check in. Okay, class, also make sure that you complete your independent work. I will be checking it and looking at it, and then we will discuss it tomorrow. Okay, thank you. When I say go, you can log off. Ready, go. Have a great day.